This is the OptoMap. This is one of the tools that we use to check the health of the back of the eye. It can also sometimes replace dilation. Let's look at a few things that we can find with the OptoMap. The OptoMap retinal exam is a non-dilating camera that captures a digital image of the retina. The OptoMap allows the doctor to capture a 200 degree high resolution image of the retina in a single shot without dilation. This happens in a quarter of a second. This is really great for patient education and also great to have a permanent photo of the patient's back of the eye for as long as they're a patient. Looking at the photos of the back of a normal eye, you can see the right eye is on the left hand side of the screen and the left eye is on the right hand side of the screen. First thing we look at is that yellow circle which is the optic nerve. The optic nerve is the cord that connects the eye to the brain and where we look for glaucoma. The next area, just to the side of the optic nerve, is the macula which is your really detailed central vision and where we look for macular degeneration. A little further out, you're able to see all the blood vessels throughout the back of the eye, which is where we look for changes, especially in patients with diabetes and high blood pressure. This image is an example of a branch retinal vein occlusion on the left eye, seen on the right side of the screen. A branch retinal vein occlusion is a blockage of the small veins in the retina. This is just one of the many things that we can see with OptoMap. This is an example of an eye with a nevus. A nevus is a common colored growth on or in the eye. Sometimes called a freckle of the eye, it is similar to a mole on your skin. A nevus can be in the front of your eye, around the iris, or under the retina at the back of the eye. It is important to monitor nevi similar to how you would monitor a freckle on your skin. The OptoMap gives us permanent pictures to compare from time to time to make sure there is minimal change. This is an example of a patient with retinal holes. Retinal holes are small breaks in the retina. Usually holes do not mean you will have a serious vision problem right away. However, retinal holes may cause problems if they allow fluid to seep behind the retina. If a lot of fluid gets behind the retina, the retina can separate from the wall of the eye. This is known as a retinal detachment. The detached part of the retina will not work properly. Detachment of the retina is a serious condition that can lead to blindness. Here in the right eye, on the left side of the screen, we can see a large retinal hemorrhage adjacent to the optic nerve. There are many things that can cause retinal hemorrhages in the back of the eye. In the left eye, on the right side of the screen, we can also see that this patient has dry macular degeneration. This is an example of bilateral macular scars as a result of Stargardt disease. Stargardt disease is a genetic eye disorder that causes progressive vision loss. It affects the macula, which is the area of the retina responsible for sharp central vision.